Okay, so you're all probably wondering, oh, Satendo, why are we on this screen, but not in the game like we, like you usually do when you start up a new episode? Well, um, I'm going to be showing you all something new today. Something that's already been done before, but I wanted to show you all how to do this. Today's episode, I'm going to show you about debugging this game. Yeah, right. You heard me. Debugging. Pokemon Rejuvenation. So, here's how it works. First off, go to scripts. Then right here, just type in the word main. Next up. Oh, I thought I could show that there. Oops. Um, next up, go into Quest Menu. Okay, okay, still good, still good. Okay, now, you should have something like this. What you're going to want to do next is go all go right here and I want you all to look out for two ends two ends right here these two right here not this one but these but this one right here and that one as well next up pay attention to my screen type in dollar sign D E P U G space equal space true in between these two ends after that go into your file go into your file and don't do save as but just do like a normal save after that you'll be getting a new menu in Pokemon Rejuvenation However, folks, just remember, you need to have dollar sign D D E try to skin <clears throat> dollar sign D E B U G space equal sign space true. You have to make sure that that's there. If it if you did not get that in there. This will not work, and you have, you have to make sure it's in between these two ends right here. If you don't, it will most likely not work. Now, I'm going to be showing y'all what happens after the, the um, you put all that in. Once again, though, before I continue, god dang it, make sure that you save. Anyway, I will meet you all in the game. Okay, I'm back. Now, if you did everything correctly like I showed you, you should be getting something right here called Debug. What does this do, you may ask? Well, for those who already know, more power to you compared to me where I just recently found out about... Well, I, f I initially found out about this, but... But anyway, let's go ahead and show you all. Here's how it works. Look at all of these menus. We have user PC, we have use PC, randomize player ID, change your outfit, set money, set coins, set badges, toggle running shoes ownership. I don't know what that does. Toggle Poke Gear, yeah. But yeah, you can all get the point. There's so much. That can make your game either more easy or more hard for you if you wish so desire. So I'm going to show you all what some of this can do. First off, let's try out Switch. So we can. Oh wow! Oh wow! 
Wait, there's 2,000? Oh my gosh, this game has a lot of content. Oh dear, oh my. Anyway, I'm gonna back out. Uh, let's see, what does this one do? Tip Pokemon choice, tip move choice. I don't know what that, that does. Um, refresh map? The map will refresh. So my guess is that when you enter the town or... What? What I, what I do though? By refreshing. Hmm, doesn't look like did anything. Anyway, back to the um, debugging. Okay, I actually won't lie, the music's kind of bugging me a bit, so I'm gonna. So I'm just gonna turn this down a bit. There we go, that should be fine for now. So let's see, we got a heal party member, so. Let's say if you're pretty dang far from the Pokemon Center and you need to heal up without using items. That text right there tells you that all your Pokemon have been healed. We're going to save that for another time. I'm not going to bother pressing this button. This will just empty out my bag. Me, I'm going to lose so much of my items I have collected, so I'm not going to do that. That's what it basically does. We got add Pokemon. I'll save that for later as well. Expert team to text. Don't know what that does. Set player character. Don't know what that does. Right here we can just basically rename our character if we did not like what we went with. Use PC. To speak. <clears throat> Use PC. That basically means that we can access our PC at any time we want. Which really, that actually would kind of make things a little easy, but I'm not going to take advantage of that. Next up, we got randomized player's ID. Um, that's just basically to randomize this right here. You can randomize your ID to make it something else. Um, I'm not going to go over the change player outfit because that's for s certain reasons. Right here, you can set whatever amount of money you want. However, I'm not going to take advantage of that. By the way, just because I have one, 166,000 poker dollars, I did not use this cheat code at all. I recently just found out about this. And I did not bother to take advantage of it. This is my current amount from regrinding. Next up, we have set coins, which I will be taking advantage over. I am not going to just straight up going back and forth to get money, go all the way back to the casino, do the same thing over and over just to get 5,500 coins. I think all you know, especially if you're at her three certain Pokemon from a future casino that I personally want. Um, set badges. Um, basically, you just add all the badges. That's basically all that it, that it is. And I don't know about the rest of this. Well, besides the daycare stuff, Quick hatch, if you just want to just simply hatch the egg within the snap of your finger, you can do just that. Roaming Pokemon status. What does that do? Requesa level 130, not roaming. Okay, don't know what that does though. Advanced roaming, set terrain, nah. Test wild battle, nah. Nah, nah, nah. nah. Relic Stone. Relic Stone. I don't know what that does. Purified Chamber. Extract Text. Hmm. Looks like a bunch of other stuff. Anyway, 
Time for what makes this game, what makes the debug kind of useful. Right here, add items. As you can see, I could get any item as I desire. If I want, I could get the Adamant Orb, which is Dialga's item. If I want to, I could get, well, some of our stuff. I could get the Amulet Coin if I want to. However, I'm not going to do it at all. But yeah, you you get the point as to how what all this does. You can just basically get items in early game if you want to. I've already done some of it, and I'll show you all later. Next up, we got add Pokemon. You want that specific Pokemon that you want that's not in the game yet? Well, come on board right here. You can actually get some Pokemon that are not available yet. Uh, let's see what what example I can I can find. Ah, here's a good example. Blaziken. Yes, you can get yourself an early Blaziken in this game if you want to. First off, just click the B, well, click the enter key, or if you're using a pro controller like me, press the B button. And after that, it will ask you what level you want that Pokemon to be on. Then after that, it will then say something about form, which I don't know what that's for. And then for last, <coughs> and then for last, it will... After that, just click the um, um, the access key or the A button on your Pro Controller. After that, you'll get that Pokemon in your party. I do believe first though, you have to make sure that there's a slot available, or otherwise it'll probably either one, not work, or two, it'll go on your PC. We're not done yet with this debugging stuff, there's more. So, does anything look unusual with some of my team members? What? You do? Now what is it? What? My Zangus? My Sculpede? My Ursaring? Now what are you talking about? There's nothing different about them. It's not like they're gone off and I forced it to be shiny Pokemon. I should probably get that one shot a bit. But yes, debugging even here in your PC. You can customize your level. You can change the species of that Pokemon to being another Pokemon. You can make it, you can use the moves. Uh, I actually never really teach moves, forget move, reset move. So let's teach a move. Oh. Oh ho ho! Oh ho ho ho! I'm already seeing the horrors of what this could possibly do. You know what? I'm curious about something. Ho ho! I can give. Okay, I'm not going to abuse that. But yes, you get the point of that. You can change um, the gender. So that could be good for like breeding purposes. You can change your ability. If you did not like the ability that your Pokemon has, you can change it. Nature. You didn't like the nature that you had? It'll force the, the system, will force the previous nature to change to the other nature. So now, I have an animate nature, Zangus over the lonely nature. Next up, the shiny thing right here. 
I can either switch it to be either being back to normal or making it a shiny. As you can clearly see. Next up is four. I still know what that does though. Happiness. You can maximize that Pokemon's happiness to max. A lot of Pokemon do require happy. <coughs> Excuse me. Having high friendships. Next up, we have this. We can change our Pokemon's Eevees and Ivies. So whatever originally I had Zangus, I now made him a pure 5 IV. And I can also randomize that if I want to. Um, yes, I did take advantage of some of these mods, but not a whole lot. Um, my reasoning for that is to show off a feature layer down the line that would make things easier for me and not take so much time. Trust me, I will get... It's something that I mentioned before in a previous episode when I was talking about... Um, well, I'll get to that eventually. Uh, Poké Rust, I don't know what that fully does. Um, I could change the ownership of my Pokémon, so... Oh, hey, I caught the Zangus. Now, let's say if I wanted to change that to a different uh, person. Like, oh, hey, some random guy named Paul had the Zangus instead of Santendo. Nickname. I will be highly honest, what's the point of that being here? Pokéball. So, if you did not like that certain Pokéball that your Pokémon's in, you can just come here and change that Pokéball. So instead of whatever you originally had it in, it will now be that specific Pokéball. Uh, mixed up is Egg, if I were to guess, it would turn my Zangus into its original Egg form. Excuse me. Next up, we have Shadow Pokemon. If I wanted to, I could change Zangus into a Shadow Pokemon instantly. Duplicate. I can make more than just one Pokemon, however, I'm not taking advantage of that. And that is kind of it right here for that form of debugging. Um, like I said, some of these mods I have fully EV, I mean, excuse me, fully IV to in between four to five, <clears throat> excuse me, four to five IVs. Not everyone, just certain ones, mainly favorites. Um, and along with genderless Pokemon, so that way, it wouldn't be as difficult. So, this guy, right here. He's not supposed to be here. He's not even available, to my knowledge, in the game yet. And yet, here he is. A Drippy. Boy, I just now realized it's a female. Well, I guess I can actually get and show off the gender change thing. As you saw right up there, he is now male, not female. Also, Drippy is not the only one. Yes, you heard me. Not the only one. Two other Pokemon that I'm not supposed to have yet. Again, I don't know if they're available in the game. Lavatar, at one point, was available in the game. However, he was removed from the Mystery Egg. Yes, at one point during version 12, you can have possibility of getting a Lavatar. I'm not king either. And yes, these are 
mainline team members. Even though I'm just... I know what you're all going to think. Oh, Subtendo, are you just going to go off and cheat? Yes, yes, I am. I did not fully cheat, it, though. I'm not going to abuse the debug system at all. Well, minus certain things. Also, we're still not done with the debugging system. If you go to your party, that's right. We can even debug right here too, and it's mainly just the same thing. Nothing new, nothing different. And let me show you all some of the stuff I got. We have right here, we have a pet, a pet rock block. I have no clue if I'm even saying that name right. Uh, this is a special item for a certain Pokemon. Next up, is a poly, a poly pancakes. I have probably butchered that name a bit. Also another item to evolve a certain Pokemon. And lastly, ish. Two metal coats. Oh, so they're gonna work like how they originally intended them to be. That right there is everything you have you get you have to know about the debugging. It is a broken system. The reason why I again did it was because I don't want to have moments where I have a moment of slowing down. Like, I want to make sure I keep up with the recordings before the eggs catch up to the recordings. Oh yeah, speaking of that, um... So I was talking about... Earlier I was mentioning about certain, the certain Pokemon. I was, um... No, not them. I was talking about these guys. Again, they have usages for future stuff. Also, my capture... I don't know, I don't think I remember I showed this off yet, but... I, oh, no, 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 I did. But Chadot was not there. Yeah, I caught myself with Chadot. And, yeah. So, I'm going to mention this right now. Some of you are probably wondering why these few Pokemon are in this box specifically. Well, the reason for that is because... I had a moment, I had a little bit, like a, an agreement deal with my um, Discord friend. We agreed because of how much breed can take and how long it can be. We decided that I should have a limitation as to how long, as to how many I can breed for for each gym batch. So for this, I'm going to be doing three breedings per batch. Right now, I have four batches. I can breed. 12 different kinds of Pokemon. Now here's how this is going to work. I could either make an improvement on some of these Pokemon, well besides someone like him, but I can make improvements on some of these Pokemon here and make them better. Or I can use Pokemon in this box and add them to the main team. Because once these two slots are taken up, any new counters I capture for the main team are going to be placed right here. And this is going to be going over and over until I have no more reason 
to capture any brand new Pokemon for the team. By the way, one last thing I should mention. I will still be showing off where you can get these where you can get these Pacific type of Pokemon. However, again, some of them are not fully in the game yet, to my knowledge. I don't even know if Bagon is in the game yet. He's just mostly here to be a show-off. And to be a demonstration. Same thing with Lavatar and Drippy. So again, once these two slots have been filled up by different team members, no more. I will not be adding any more new team members. They will all be back in box four and beyond. And yeah, that's about it right there. So, next time on Pokemon Rejuvenation, we're not going to be continuing the story just yet. I want to do some side stuff real quick. Um, there's a total of two or three things I want to do. So... If you enjoyed today's episode, please share, like, subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you all for the next episode. Have a nice day. Actually, wait, before I go, before I go away. There we go. That's how the duplication thing works. I'm actually curious if it actually has the same IVs. Okay, yeah. That answers my question. Okay, that's it. This is the only episode you will ever see me up using the duplication glitch. I mean, uh, the debugging thing, excuse me. Okay. Now, I'll see y'all later. I'm gonna turn off the debugging. See ya.